Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Grafana to create a dashboard. We're going to use the live data from the United Manufacturing Hub and display the distances and count of parts as graphs. Grafana is, just like Node-RED, open source and free. Because of its large user base, you can find countless tutorials to help you create your own dashboards. You can access the Grafana microservice running on the UMH stack by opening a new tab, typing the IPC's IP address and adding colon 8080. As you can see, I'm already logged in, but if you're not, you can get the credentials by opening the Kubernetes cluster with Lens and looking under Configuration, Secrets for the Grafana secret. Clicking on it will open a panel where you can find the password and username. Click on the eye icons and copy and paste both entries in the login panel to log in. Now we can create our very first pane for the dashboards by clicking on plus, dashboard, add new pane. First we need to configure the data source. The location is already correct, but we need to change the asset to video asset and the value to process distance. The location and asset are the names we specified in the topics of the MQDT messages, which we send to the UMH stack via Node-RED. The variable name consists of process underscore and the name we gave the variable in the JSON payload of the MQTT message. We can already see data being shown. Let's change the time frame to the last 5 minutes. By hitting the refresh button and turning the distance sensor, we can verify live information is indeed coming in. Because we, we don't want to refresh manually, we go back to the dashboard, click on the refresh button and specify 5 seconds as the automatic refresh cycle time for the entire dashboard. It is now updating automatically. Click on pane title and edit. We can change the pane title on the right panel under Panel Options, Title. Let's just use Distance. There are a lot of different options you can use to configure your panels. For now, I will choose Millimeter as measurement unit and go back to the dashboard view. We can resize the distance graph pane we created in the dashboard and save the dashboard under the name Video Dashboard. I added the distance graph further and choose a thicket line width. You can also use bars or point graphs. Let's choose a dashed line style. We can save the dashboard again and go back to the dashboard view. Add a new panel, specify the data source and now use the count of parts variable. Go back to the dashboard view and resize the new pane. We can edit it further, change its name and the line width. Hit apply on the top right. There we have it, our first simple dashboard. We could make it look a lot nicer, add additional functionality, etc. etc. But for a short introduction, this should be fine. Let's go into view mode and choose full screen in our browser. Again, change it to a 5 second automatic update cycle. This is now something we can show on the shop floor. We can log into Grafana with any device in our local network to view the dashboard or create more new ones. This is it, our tutorial series on how you can set up the United Manufacturing Hub is over. If you have any questions, we have further documentation on our website. The link is in the video description. Have a wonderful day!